Hey guys, Richard from the School of Nomads. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make money online with ClickBank for free. I'm going to go through the whole process step by step. So if you're a beginner and you haven't used ClickBank before, this is going to be a great video for you. Or if you're an affiliate who's been struggling for a while and not really making or having the results that you want, again, stick around. I'm going to give you some really good advice here. So during the video, we're going to go through how to join ClickBank, how to choose a niche. I'll show you a website that actually shows you the most popular products on ClipBank and the various niches they're in. We're going to go find a great product. I'll show you the key things to find when you're going looking for products. Um, deciding on your funnel is going to be a really critical part of this. We're going to show you the way that a lot of beginners try and promote ClipBank products and fail. And I'm going to show you various funnels that people use and the one that I find to be the most successful. And then I'm going to show you various ways that you can get traffic and give you some real like live examples of the way that I do it and others do it. So you can go ahead and copy what actually works. So just before we start, my name is Richard Darby. This is the School of Nomads. Go ahead and hit that subscribe and notification bell. It helps me help more people. The more popular this channel gets, the more people I can reach. And any questions about this, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. I'm always happy to answer questions as soon as possible. So I'm gonna jump straight into ClickBank now. And I'll take you through this whole thing. So jump over to ClickBank. This is the homepage of ClickBank. Now ClickBank, if you don't know anything about ClickBank at all, this is a site that all the uh, types of uh, vendors will put products on here and affiliates can come in and they can promote those products for those vendors. So through your promotion, if you sell any of those products, then you earn a commission. And that commission could be a monthly commission, depending if they got to any kind of memberships attached to their products, or it could just be a one-off. Now, the great thing about ClickBank is it's around 75% commission on most of the products in here. So you get a, lo a lot of commission up front for actually advertising these products for the vendors. The other good thing about ClickBank is there is a wide variety of products in different niches that you can co come ahead and, and promote. So depending on what your interests are, you can come in here and usually find products around those interests. So if you write about if you're interested in health and fitness, if you're interested in make money online type things, if you're interested in woodwork, there's always products in here that you can go ahead and use and promote based on your interests, right? What the first thing you would do is come in and you can create an account. Now, if you create an account, there's a number of stages to this. The initial stage is just some basic information about the country that you live in, your name, your address, uh, so your name and your phone number and your email address. Now, when you press go and go into the second stage, you'll have another form that asks for your home address details and some banking details and an account nickname. So ClickBank have been going for many, many years now. They're, they're a very reputable company. Um, but what they do is they pay you in a number of ways. So when you get paid your commission, they'll either, they, you, you set a threshold in the system and they'll either send you a check after that, that dollar threshold has been met and that direct will come straight to your house, that's check. Or you can set up a banker's draft and they can send it straight into your bank. I still get regularly paid by check. It's kind of an old way to do it still, but I'm still used to being paid for them by, by check. But you can do either way. So give them those information and then you'll have an account nickname. Now that account nickname is key and I'll show you, show you why when we go into the marketplace. That's really, the account nickname is what really tells ClickBank when you've made a sale. Go ahead and create yourself an account and then you'll come back and the next time you log in you'll come across and log in there'll be your account nickname there that happens to be mine and then it'll be a password and then you sign in now once you're signed in um, you come over and you hit the marketplace and then on the marketplace this is where you find the products that you will actually go ahead and promote and on the left hand side here there's a whole bunch of categories that you can go ahead and choose products in, right? So if I just go ahead and I'll pick health and fitness. Now I'll, I'll show you a different site in a minute and it, that'll take you through exactly uh, what kind of niches do really well on ClickBank. But if I go into health and fitness and I'm gonna show you an example of one of these products. So let's go to this. This is a very, very popular one, this Cinderella solution. This is some kind of diet solution. So if I look at this, um, you have the actual product here. If I hit that hyperlink, it will take me through to the actual product itself. This is the Cinderella solution. It's a video and it's around weight loss, right? So this is their sales page. 
Okay, so I'm going to leave that. So I click off that. So that's the actual sales page. So what you what what this is telling me is that I'll get thirty nine dollars eighty six cents on average if I promote this and I go ahead and make a sale. Now that's seventy. If I look at this now, that's ninety five percent commission. So they're giving me a lot of money on the front end of this to get people to sign up. And it looks like if I if I just jump down here, there's some kind of ongoing membership of this site as well. So this will be this will be a, an upfront cost of around if I get 95%, it looks like around $45. And then there'll be an ongoing monthly membership to it. So I know that I'll get around $39. Um, so the initial sale is around 35. And if I look down here into the stats area, and if I look at this average rebuild total of $21, this is telling me that there is a membership or something attached to this. It's an ongoing rebuild. So on average, you'll get around $39. Now remember, when people join these membership sites, um, they don't always stay for very long. It depends on what, uh, how good the product is and how, how good that membership site is. So for us, all we want to do is look at, right, that's the $39 initial sale. This big thing on here, though, is to look at this gravity, right? Now this gravity is telling me two four two four five that over the la over the last few weeks there has been a lot of affiliates actually selling this. It's telling me that at least two hundred and forty five affiliates have mailed, made sales on this item very very recently. So it's telling me it's very popular. So what I would do is I would look at okay if I want to interest in in doing this I would look at the actual average rebuild sale. I think that's that's a good one forty dollars. Anything above twenty five is worth your time. And then you look at the gravity and say, yeah, other affiliates are actually promoting this. So it must be a good product to promote. Okay, so that's the two things I would look on. Now, if I was just looking at this, you'll see that all of these products come in, in um, slightly different orders. And there's a number of ways you can sort this to see which are the good products to go after first. And you can sort by either popularity or you can look at it by gravity. So all you need to do is change this and it'll tell you what the most popular ones are by gravity. All of these, if you look at this one at the top, Lightbulb Tox, that is 540 gravity. That's huge. That means that's being sold a lot by, very, by a lot of different people. It's kind of a variety of things if you're beginning. I would probably go for one that's slightly less gravity and as long as it's above $25, that could be the one that you, you go after if you're interested in these topics. Or if you're really interested in things like the keto diet and it's something you really want to go after, then that one would be a great one. The custom keto diet would be a great one. $41, 225 gravity, definitely been sold by other affiliates. And it's a really, really good average sale on there for you as well. So that's how you would find good products. Now, if I just click over to a different site, this is something called CB Engine. Now, CB Engine is a database of clickbank products and it puts them in slightly different categories and it's a good way for you to very quickly see what the most popular products are on clickbank right so if i'm thinking about what kind of niches are really popular at the moment i'll just jump over here and i'll look at all of the products that are in this top gravity on the left hand side and i'll just kind of figure out based on the product what those niches are so if you see up here the first one two three four are all about diet, right? And and how people eat and the different ways people eat. Then you have some sort of dating type sites. So diet and dating is always big. This one here, the 12 minute affiliate system is a make money online product that always does very, very well. Again, there's another diet one there. So as you come down again, there's another kind of health and fitness one here. Um, Ted's Woodworking is always a huge one if you're into woodworking. Only the only thing with woodworking and trying to promote things like that is it's got to be something that you do as a hobby because usually the way people promote the type, these types of things is they show people how to do woodworking. So it's um, it's kind of a difficult one. Brain training for dogs. I'm going to show you an example of something on brain training for dogs in a minute because uh, I've got a dog and I'm very interested in this topic. And then you come down and you can see that, that there's, there's other diet ones. The battery recondition was a bit random. It always seems to be a big thing. Keto is a diet. Health and fitness. Again, cholesterol. So health and fitness. Manifestation and this backyard revolution so you what you'll tend to find is that the health and fitness niche personal improvement niche the dating niche and diet niche are always very big ones to go into but to be honest i wouldn't really be too worried as long as you've got products in clickbank that 
cover your interests and they have some kind of gravity and they are a good resell, they are going to be a good product for you to go after and, and write about, right? And, uh, and write content about. So that's the way that you would look, kind of look at a, a niche. You can go into this into a lot more detail and look at things like what the new products are and all sorts of information on here. So this isn't really a, a video about the ClipBank engine in itself, but it is a good resource if you want to come and find a different way to go ahead and look at ClipBank. So let's come back to ClipBank and I want to show you, kind of give you an example of another good product and show you other things to look for. So I'm gonna come back out of here and I'm gonna to go to kind of home and garden because I wanna find that dog training one. So here they are, here's brain training for dogs, right? So this has got $31 average sale and it's 75% commission and it's 131 gravity. So this is obviously a good one, right? This is obviously something that people like seeing. Um, so the first thing I'd do really is come into the affiliate page and have a look at what kind of information they're gonna give for affiliates. So if you're an affiliate, what most of these folks do is they give you information and resources to go ahead and promote their product. And it gives you a good idea of how you can go ahead and do that. So if I just scroll down and have a look at some of the resources that they're gonna give us. So there's banners here that you can go ahead and use. If you had a website already, they're going to give you some banners to use here. As you can see, brain training for dog banners, and there's all the HTML codes you can put them on your website. So this is for people with existing websites. There's some free giveaways here that you can give away to your email list, and I'll talk a little bit about funnels and, and giving away free stuff in a minute, but um, there's an airplane game here. There's, there's um, a video of the airplane game, so it's obviously something that they, uh, they can give away. Now, email swipes, when you set up an autoresponder, um, they give you some emails that you can go ahead and use. Now, I would probably wouldn't use these exactly. I would take these as an example and just adjust them slightly because if folks have signed up for these types of offers before, they may end up having seen these emails before, so they'll know that you've got them copied and pasted off something. So I would use this as kind of a, a base and then have another email, slightly different emails that you go ahead and send. So there is emails here. There's some promotional videos here you can go ahead and use. So maybe you could use these as a larger video within something on, on YouTube, but I'll explain all of that when I talk about traffic. So there's some promotional videos here. And there's some keyword ideas. So if I look to the keywords, they're giving you pay-per-click examples costs of these particular keywords. So if you were gonna do some paid advertising, these are the types of keywords that they said you could bid on and the search volumes etc but the way that you could use this for free traffic is if you wanted to make articles or videos based on this topic you could use these keywords to decide on what you're going to make articles or videos on so it's a very useful resource even if you're not going to do paid traffic initially to come down here and say i want to make a video on how to get my puppy to stop biting and then in that video i would then obviously make that video and then post that back to this particular offer. So these keywords resources are always very useful. And then there's a, a contact there for brain training for dogs. So if I wanted to go ahead and promote this, I would come back and all I need to do is hit this promote. And this would give me my link. So my ab training is my nickname. You remember I said that the nickname is, is something that you need to use to, um, to create and then what happens is ClipBank know that anything with your nickname on them, any sales made would come back to you, right? So you would have a nickname there. And then the tracking option is if I wanted to use, say, YouTube to track, to advertise this particular product, I would use that as my tracking option. So I might have something on Pinterest. I might have a YouTube account. I might have a Facebook account. And I can use that tracking option to see when I look at all the clicks, where are those clicks coming from, right? So I'll go ahead and generate that. And then this very, very ugly looking link is actually the hop link that is being given me that will track my sales now. But so if I copied and pasted this into my browser, you'll see that it will come across to that offer. So you see here, braintrainingfordogs.com hop equals app training. It's showing that I, if anybody purchases this now, if I come across and I press purchase on it, I go press and press instant access. Here's the sales page. If I go right to the bottom of the sales page, at the bottom it says affiliate app training 
and this is YouTube because this is what would come from YouTube when I was tracking it. So that's how the whole process works, right? You go find a good product, choose a niche, something you're interested in, something you want to write about, something you want to create content about, find a good product in ClickBank, go ahead and look at the affiliate resources and they give you some ideas about how you can go ahead and advertise that. Once you've done that, come back, get your link, and then once you start advertising that link, you'll see that um, when people click on it, then they, you then get that um, commission for selling that product, right? So that's the first piece. Once you've found a great product, we want to know how do we want to actually advertise this? Because there's a number of ways that you can advertise your link. And I, so I'm going to go into something called Funnelytics. So I'm going to show you an example of two ways that you would go ahead and advertise this. Um, and I'm going to explain through some of the options of those ways. Okay, so we're on Funnelytics, right? So um, there's a number of ways that you can set up a funnel for a product. Now, this top way is the way that most beginners do it, and it's completely wrong, right? And, it, and it very, they get despondent because this doesn't give them res any results. And what they do is they get that link that I showed you, and they just start trying to share it around the internet. People very rarely will click on that link and actually go and purchase something. Um, they'd like to see some kind of value and maybe some kind of free offer or maybe some kind of valuable content that you give them to allow them to have confidence to go ahead and click that link. So this top one where you just have a link and you go ahead and, and click it and you end up on a sales page and then you purchase it, that's one that very, very rarely works, right? So this is one that a lot of newbies kind of do and then start deciding none of this stuff is working for me. Now the second way, which is a better way, is you create some kind of content based on that topic, right? So in my case, it was brain training, it was something around dogs. So let's say I wanted some kind of content around uh, how to stop the dog chewing the settee, which is obviously something I've had before, right? Because I've got a dog. And you want some content around that. Now, you could have a blog post that you've created on that with the link back to this product actually in that blog post. You could have a YouTube video that you create on that topic with the link in the description of that YouTube video. And I'm gonna show you examples of this now. And that then drives them back to the product. Or you can even have a Pinterest pin where you give some interesting information on the pin. And then once they click that pin, it links straight back to the sales page of that product. So this is what this second funnel is. Now the downside of this is once somebody's gone onto your blog and maybe clicked that link and gone over to the sales page and then decided, oh, I can't be bothered, I'm not going to buy it now or I'm on a busy train or I'm, I'm in the middle of shopping or something's going on that's distracting them or the kids are running around, whatever it may be, you've then lost that opportunity with them. And again, a lot of affiliates will use this process and then they've lost that uh, that opportunity forever with that particular person. What you'll find is a lot of people need three or four contacts with you or with a piece of information before they'll actually go and purchase something. So again, this one has its drawbacks, although it is better than the first option of just direct, direct linking. Now, this is the preferable way of doing any of this marketing, right? So again, you have your piece of content, you have your links within that content. So I've just used these three platforms because they're, they're kind of three platforms that I use. There's Facebook, there's Instagram, there's all sorts of different platforms these days. So you create your content, you put it on one of these three platforms, and then what you do then is you take them to an opt-in page where you ask them to give them some information like their name and the email. Now you make that opt-in page as simple as you can so it's not a big deal to, for them to do that. And you could either give them some free information. If you remember on the product I showed you with the brain training, they had some, a free gift there. You could give them that gift at that stage or and then you would then they would then go off to a download page and on that download page they would then be once they downloaded they'd be redirected towards the sales page this stuff sounds complicated it's actually not with this kind of page builders you get these days or you would just ask them to opt in and only then would you send them off to the sales page so what's the kind of benefit of this then well the benefit of this then is you've now captured on this page some of the details of those folks that are gonna were interested in that product. So they've, they've, they've read your article or watched your video, they've thought, ah, oh, this is interesting, I'm gonna click the button, and then they've gone into your lead magnet, uh, lead magnet or opt-in page and they'll give you some details. At that stage, they've now shown some interest, right? 
and where they've gone on the sales page and again they might not have had time to read all the sales page they might have just you know um read it and kind of lost interest a little bit whatever it may be you then have their email address so what you do down here in the email in the emails um, sequence here is you have a set of emails that are both value based driven and sales emails so you don't want to hit them with a sales email straight away so the first email could actually be hey thanks for subscribing hope you found all the information you wanted on the product if you didn't purchase it here's the link again below um, and then give them some value underneath it and then the next couple of emails just could be something around dogs so they'll get to start getting to know you that you send them emails and they'll send you some valuable information about other dog topics and then over time they'll warm to the idea of buying the product and then they'll come back once you set this up it's all automated you just need to set up your emails or your dating sequences as we call them and then you can warm people up into into the idea of buying that product again and then they come back from the email you will link back to the sales page again on the first email you could link back to that download page if you have something free to give them and they haven't downloaded it as a good reminder for them to download it go back to the sales page and then they purchase and then the order so this is kind of the funnel you would use so what I want to do now is I'm going to show you some examples of this funnel in action right and I'm going to show you one of a product that I promote I'll go back into Clickbank I'll show you the product itself and then I'll go through exactly how I'm promoting it and kind of show you this funnel in action okay so I jumped over back to Clickbank now this is the product I want to show you and I'll show you the full funnel so this is a baby sleep miracle this is a product I promote if I go into the affiliate area they have lots and lots of different affiliate resources that you can go and use all sorts of banners articles infographics so this is a really good one if you're a beginner because they've got so much information here that you can go ahead and use and change and this is where I would get my hop link on this particular one. If I just create my hop link, you'll see straight away that there's ab training there, uh, baby sleep, hop link, click bank. Um, so there's my hop link. Now, by the way, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to link to another video at the top here that shows you how to take one of these hop links and make them a lot nicer using a program called Pretty Links, right? So don't worry about having to use some ugly hop link like that. So here's the affiliate resource center. So this is the kind of times of things I can use. If I just come back, I'll show you the actual product itself. And the product itself uh, starts with this video and it takes you them through some advice on this video. Obviously, you, there's a reading option here. And then once they've read it through, they get taken over to the sales page and then I'll get the credit for it, right? So that's the, that's the product itself. And this particular one's got a gravity of 63. And although this is $20, it's got a very good rebuild total. So this is telling me that people tend to stay with this product for a while as members, right? They don't just um, stay for a month and then jump off. So I like the look of this one and, um, and Gravity of 63 to me means there's not a great deal of competition out there if you can get this right. So this is a pretty popular one. The way I do this is I post content to YouTube and then in the description to that content, I have the link to a landing page. So I'm gonna show you exactly how I do this. So I jumped over to YouTube and this is the video that I'm actually using, and this is one of many, I've got a whole channel here called Newborn Years, and this is a video that I'm using for new baby, new parent tips, first 30 days. And I've got videos on all different topics on this particular niche. So if you come down and you look at the video description, apart from the video you itself, places, as well as holding them on their sides, can trigger a calming reflex in your baby. And play tunes. This is all actually done in a program called Content Samurai, which is a very easy program to build videos in, right? So that's not particularly complicated. Anyway, so you come down to the description itself. And if I look at the description, you'll see there's a link here to newbornyears.com. And there's several links here, actually. And then I just put as much information in here as I can, right? So if I link to newbornyears.com, you'll see that this actually takes them over to a very, very simple landing page. Now, this landing page is supposed to be basic, and I want minimal information from them for them to progress to the next step. And in this particular one, I'm not actually giving anything away because the video they see on the sales page is some value in itself because it is kind of an adv um, some advice there on that video before they actually get to the main product. If I come across here and I just hit this, and I say watch now, it'll take me over to the main product. So here's the main product. And again, you see that video again, you saw that earlier. 
if I want to read it, I can come down and read it here. And if I add this to cart, you'll see this is the actual cost. This is £35. You'll see that at the bottom here, there's affiliate app trading baby sleep. So that's my affiliate ID for this particular product, right? Um, so that means that I'll get credited the 75% of this £35 if they purchase. So that's exactly how I use this funnel, right? So if I just jump back to the funnel again, I have my YouTube video here with the content in it. I created a YouTube video. They come off to my opt-in page here. And in this particular case, I, I have their email address and they end up on a sales page. Now, if they don't purchase it, I have their email address and I've got an email responder series set up with all of these different emails in that kind of give them baby advice and the every two or three will say, hey, do you remember that baby sleep um, product you've got? And there's also other things that I promote on the same email series. And it comes back to the sales page. So you've got to remember when you're doing this that you want to be creating people value and information that they can kind of find interesting and then warm to you and then purchase of you. It's a much better way to do it than trying to just throw a link out there and spam people. So I'll give you another example. Do you remember the brain training for dogs I showed you? So... I just looked at brain trainings for dogs on the web. Now there would have been other keywords that brought me here, but this was the easiest one. I looked at that on Google and what people do when they do a lot of things around blogs is they do reviews. So the one great thing you can do with any product on Clickbank is do a review of that product. And people go, will go on and go, well, what's this product all about? And they'll put reviews into Google and then they'll find all of these reviews. So if I just come down to this one, there's whoever like there, smilingstaffy.com. I've done a brain training for dogs review. And this is obviously a whole blog that's dedicated to dogs. There's the smiling dog. And if you come down here, they have a whole review here. And if you remember that video, they've actually put the video in that they, they got provided for them into the video. And they show you, they go through all what their opinions are of the product. And if I hit get the copy of brain training for dogs, You'll see that up here it says Hop Staffy 91. So if they purchase this, if I purchase this, they will get credit for this sale. And it's the last, if they go ahead and use somebody else's site and look at their review, whoever was the last one that they hit would get the credit for that particular sale. So I've showed you YouTube, I've showed you blogs and how you can develop these types of blogs. And the last one I'll show you is Pinterest. Now this is my, one of my newer Pinterest accounts actually. I've had this open for about three weeks. And the great thing about Pinterest is you do got a lot of unique views on Pinterest. I've got, I'm up to about 20,000 a month now, and this account is only one month old. It is very, very good if you wanna start getting a lot of eyes on your offers. So if I just go to my pins, and these are just some of the pins that I do for my particular campaigns. Now some of these are, there is another program called Tailwind that I actually use that repins things. So these have been viewed more times than 438, but you can see on here that some of these are getting some great, great views. And all they are really, if I just click on this one, is a, uh, a simple bit of text and an image. And if they click on this, they immediately get sent, in this case, to a squeeze page. Now this is my uh, one of my flagship products. This is um, the simple traffic blueprint that if you are into affiliate marketing, I really recommend you go ahead and check this out in the description below. And I'm not just saying that right, because this is a very, very good product if you're a beginner to kind of get started and really understand step by step how you do everything that I'm describing on here. It'll tell you exactly how you, to, you can create a website, exactly how you create these types of landing pages, how you create YouTube channels. It's a really, really good product. So go ahead and if you've got time, go and check that out. But anyway, this is the landing page that you'd end up landing on and they give me their email address and then they go off, go off to the main product. Using Pinterest is another way that you can go ahead and use that funnel I talked about where you go to a landing page first. And that is so important to get people's details because if you think about it, if you don't do that, you've got one chance for them to buy something. If you do get their details, you can send them more information and it allows you to provide a lot more value to them and then they'll go ahead and they'll purchase if they find the product that you're suggesting to them is valuable. And again, that's key. Only do this with products that you're willing to stand behind and 
really think are good products. Don't don't start promoting any of the old crap, right? Make sure that you're looking at into ClickBank and you're finding those products that are being sold by others, are being sold for a decent price, and then look through that product yourself and make sure you're happy with it. Even purchase it yourself and have a good look through it. That's always a good way to do, good thing to do as well. I hope you found that useful. In that video, we went over how to join ClickBank, how to choose a niche, um, how to find a great product, how to decide on your funnel, how to get traffic, and then the last thing and kind of the, the main thing is you do this and you rinse and repeat. So once you have your funnel in place and you have that landing page and you have your email series, you just need to keep creating content for people to find, especially if it's free, right? So free advertising methods, you need to be rinsing and repeating and you need to be providing a lot of content all of the time so that people come across that content and will click on your links. So rinse and repeat is the, is the last piece here, is to make sure that you are finding those topics in your niche and you're writing about them, creating videos about them, creating pins about them, whatever it may be, and getting as many eyes on that particular content as you can. So I hope you found that useful. I took you through the whole process step by step in as much detail as I could. Um, go ahead and check out that course in the description below if you want more information on this. I take you through all aspects of this process from first building a website, getting a YouTube channel, creating content, finding great products, all, all of these things are covered in that course. If this was useful to you, go ahead and give me a like and leave me a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. You really wanna see those notifications. Every week I bring out more and more content and the aim of this channel is to try and help others finally make money online. Until next time, take care.